This is basically a snow globe town. This oh. is what they modeled the snow globe town after. Exactly, 100%. <laughs> when you think of going into the Colorado mountains, I feel like this is exactly what you hope for. Yeah. We found it and I am in love. Good afternoon, adventurers. Good afternoon. And welcome to Ure, Colorado. We found the cutest town in all of Colorado, yeah. right here. This town has been recommended to us so many times from people all over the world while we've been traveling. When we talk about Colorado, they're like, Ure, you gotta see Ure. If you guys caught our last video, you know that we've been driving around this awesome four x four truck camper, and it's been taking us all over Colorado. It's oh, been yeah. a freaking blast. And it's getting into mountain towns like these covered in snow, and I'm very glad we have the four x four option. But if you wanna see a full tour of our awesome rig, you can check out our previous videos. We also went to the X Games in oh, that yeah. in Aspen, and it was awesome. Yeah, it was a blast. We kind of started off in the downtown area, and it is just as and if not more charming than the photos let on and then people have let on. It's yeah. incredible. But this town is known for having trails all around the perimeter of it, so we're gonna go head up and find an awesome viewpoint and tell you guys a little bit more about Ure. is actually known as the Switzerland of America. And I can confirm, it does look a lot like Switzerland. Why go all the way to Europe when you could just go to Colorado? You can just drive on out here, no planes involved. But I'm glad that we got here when it's covered in snow because man, all the little dusting on top of all the mountains in the vicinity makes it look pretty incredible. It is absolutely lovely and it's a fairly clear day. You just have little bits of fog coming over the mountaintops. Who knew? We were just a little north of here earlier and it was like desert land. And then all of a sudden you start seeing these little snow capped peaks pop up over the mesas. And then it turns into this in like 10 minutes. Yeah, the drive into Ure was pretty much the most incredible like entrance into a town that I've ever seen. It was amazing. We ended up driving here from Aspen. It took about four hours. We had to kind of loop around and then come all the way straight down to here. And it was definitely worth the drive. People did not let us down with this recommendation. So the town of Ure was founded in 1884 and it was a huge mining town, just like a lot of towns were here in Colorado. What makes it so cool is that even though we're over 7,000 feet elevation, it's still kind of tucked in this valley, just nestled between these huge peaks just surrounding it everywhere you look. And also this highway is considered the most dangerous highway in Colorado. Some even consider it the most dangerous one in the USA. But we're gonna save that journey for another day. For now, this is where we're staying. <laughs> Right now we are walking on a portion of the perimeter trail. And this is a trail that goes all along the perimeter, obviously, of Ure. It's about six miles. It's a little treacherous right now because it's snow covered. You can't tell like what's frozen water, what's a drop off. I'm just hoping whoever went before me knew what they were doing. <laughs> yeah, because we're just following the footsteps. So pretty freaking beautiful though, huh? Oh, it's lovely out here. Ooh, nice moves. Yeah. What happened? I fell. <laughs> oh, dang. If you get off the trail even a little bit, it's just like straight down to nothing. Yeah, so this is all packed snow. We're many feet up off the ground right now. That was a graceful fall. Yeah, thanks. Nice job. Well, the sun is starting to go down. It's starting to get very chilly. And Allison's got a sock and a boot problem, so. Both of my socks are all the way down to here. <laughs> I don't even know how it happens. I, they must have been super stretchy socks, but it is very annoying. But we have had this entire trail to ourselves. And I mean, look where we're hiking. Like snow-capped peaks all over the place. You can see all these epic views of the town. It's insane, really. Oh. When you think of going into the Colorado mountains, I feel like this is exactly what you hope for. Yeah. We found it and I am in love. Well, good morning, y'all from another beautiful day here in Ure. It actually is beautiful. The sun's coming out, it's warming up. We are going to do the like must do thing here in Ure and that is ice wall climbing. We're gonna climb up a frozen wall of ice, which yeah. sounds very practical and not dangerous or ridiculous at all. <laughs> People come from far and wide to climb up this thing. Yeah, they also do a lot of climbing here in the summer, but how cool is it to climb up an ice wall in the winter in the freaking Switzerland of America? Yeah, and to be honest, uh, we're a little nervous, so <laughs> we're not really sure what to expect, so uh, Let's see what happens, I guess. We 
made it to the ice climbing wall, and I think I'm ready. <laughs> Actually, he, he hasn't explained what we do with these. I don't know what's happening. But we did get a lesson in these. These are called crampons, but man, they are seriously lethal. So we got to really watch out that we don't stab ourselves or each other. <laughs> yeah, if you trip, you're just like, Psh! you could puncture your whole leg, rip yeah. it right off. I feel like. I'm going to go do some murdering though, not some like... <laughs> You're going to murder ice. some ice, I'm girl. I'm going to murder the ice. All right, let's go climb. Well, y'all, I got the 10 minute crash course and uh, he's sending me up the wall. <laughs> Way up there. Confidence level is, uh, you know, about a two out of 10 right now, but you know. All right, let's do it. <laughs> Flex the toe up a little bit, All right? Awesome. It's terrifying. <laughs> Looking good, babe. Your feet up and pop. I forgot you made it. <laughs> that was really hard. You made it look easy, though. Did I? Yeah. It wasn't. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I'm beat. It's pretty terrifying. Oh, man. <laughs> you just don't look down. That's all you can do. That is what almost frostbite looks like. Oh, shoot, man. <laughs> Let's Woo. See. Are you ready? I guess so. It was so much nicer when I was just watching you and pretending like I could do it too, but now I have to put my money where my mouth is. Well, you look like you know what you're doing. You look the part. <laughs> they, they got me all done up here. That's true. All right, oh, off you geez. go. Okay, <laughs> bye. How's it going up there? It hurts. <laughs> My calves are on fire. I don't like this straight up ice wall here. <laughs> this is the scariest part for her is just rappelling down. <laughs> I honestly can't believe I made it. I had a panic attack about the way up that thing. I just thought I was gonna give up. <laughs> oh, but I did it. You I made it. it to the top. All right, y'all, round two. I'm gonna go up a different part of the wall. I'm gonna try to go a little bit faster this time, but we'll see. <laughs> there you go. You from the top, not too bad. This is the scariest part is when you gotta lean back and Allison's doing the belay. <laughs> well, this is easily one of the coolest things you've ever done. <laughs> Conquered the ice wall, baby. Well y'all, that was a blast. Definitely one of the funnest things we've ever done, but also one of the coldest. I don't know if I've ever been so cold. I can't even talk my face, my lips are frozen. <laughs> I feel like maybe you have poor circulation. Yeah, sister. maybe I do. So this is uh, not a natural ice wall. They actually have pipes up at the top. When it gets cold enough, they'll dump some water over it. It'll freeze overnight and it'll kind of reform all these nice little uh, ice chunks for you to climb up and have so much fun on. <laughs> You guys know we don't go anywhere without a power station and we have actually been using this it's the anchor powerhouse 767 and yes they are sponsoring today's video so we just wanted to give them a huge shout out we can legitimately say without our powerhouse our heat may not have lasted through some of these freezing nights we would have turned into literal popsicles i think quite literally popsicles <laughs> sadly we haven't really had much sun during this trip so we haven't really been able to use much solar to keep our batteries topped up but we've been able to charge our anchor while driving through the 12 volt plug and it actually has a handy 30 amp plug right here so we can plug our rv directly into the this, and believe it or not, the entire rig is powered for almost a week with this powerhouse. And since the battery lasts so long, you can do this every single day. And what we love about that is that we haven't had to use the generator that's on board this thing once. So that means when you're in parking lots or you're out in nature, you don't have to have a noisy generator running. This beast has a whopping 2,049 watt hours of power, and you can also plug in solar panels to charge it with the sun when the sun is shining. Course. As you guys can tell, this thing is crazy rugged. It even has a built-in handle so you can carry this thing around like luggage. The battery lasts over 3,000 charge cycles. It also comes with a handy five-year warranty, baby. Anchor has a ton of other power stations for any scenario that you can possibly think of. So you can head to anchor.com, check them all out, and pick up one for yourself.
for breakfast or for being honest, lunch-ish. We came to this amazing place called Maggie's and oh my gosh, you guys, we ordered maybe too much. Got the biggest burrito in the entire world, smothered in chili sauce, which you have to do if you are here in Colorado. And then two of the most beautiful pancakes. Yeah, I had no idea they were gonna be this big. I mean, that's insane. <laughs> One for each of us. What, do you think we can conquer this whole meal? I can conquer like maybe this little portion of it. In addition to having amazing food, this place is also super quirky. They allow you to write everywhere, on all the walls, the ceiling, the tables. The only thing you can't write on is the fridge over in the corner for oh, some reason. And also these. It says do not write on any of the, the we artwork. We don't have a Sharpie, sadly, so I guess we'll be leaving our mark, but you should bring some. Okay, we got this huge breakfast burrito. We got bacon in there, eggs and beans and potatoes. Oh God, that looks good. You can get ham, you can get sausage. I'm sure you could make it all kinds of fancy ways. Straight from the middle, get a bunch of this nice chili sauce in there. It's the breakfast of champions right there. <laughs> That's the way to start the day. Potatoes are super crispy in there. The chili sauce is, oh my God, it's a little spicy, but it's really nice, got so much flavor. Everything is just cooked to perfection. The bacon is crunchy. It is like a perfect meal wrapped in a tortilla and then smothered in delicious chili stuff. Well said. Thanks. You sold it. But this is definitely enough for two. So if you don't have the world's biggest appetite, get an extra plate like we did and split it. Yep. There are actually a couple coffee shops in town. Definitely go to this one called Mojo's though. They have the best coffee. It's so good, but they're only open in the, till 11.30 weekdays, 1.30 on weekends, so yeah. get there early. The hours on some of the shops in town are crazy. You never know, so, and don't trust what Google says either. Yes. But if you do go to Mojo's, get the Cortado. It's pretty much the best. What? The best that it gets. Get the iced latte, it lasts longer. It's, there's piles of snow everywhere and you're drinking an iced latte. I'm being one with the snow. I'm, Whatever. I'm, I'm just becoming one <laughs> whole ice cube from the inside out. Well, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> I finally got a Coors. I've been dying to drink Coors because it's from Golden, Colorado, and I wanted to drink one in Colorado. Yeah. And it's the banquet one, my favorite. I kept it classier with a nice little glass of wine. Are you saying that Coors isn't classy? You're in Colorado. Yes. This is the one place you cannot say okay. that. Okay. <laughs> Speaking of classy, we came to Brick House restaurant for dinner, and this came highly recommended from everyone from people on the internet from people here in colorado from people outside of colorado we've been asking every local that we come in contact with and they always recommend this yeah, place they said you have to come here but one quirk is that it fills up very quickly so you always make a reservation if you can and the way it works is you call they do not answer you leave a message and you say the time the preferred time you'd like to come your number and then eventually they call you back and they did call yes. us back Multiple people in town recommended this salmon. It is not cheap, but it's very, very fresh. Apparently they fly it in from Alaska, they butcher it in the back. Oh, oh yeah. Get some of that sauce on there. That's is the bite you're doing? Yeah, is that too big? Yeah, it's always. It's always too big. All right, how about that? Is that manageable? Yeah. <laughs> mm. Mm. I love when salmon just has like that crispy, buttery layer on the top. So it's so moist on the inside, but you get this epic crunch and burst of flavor and, and saltiness from the top layer. It is very, very good. I went with elk pasta. Could you imagine a more amazing meal to have after out, being out in the cold all day? You said it's elk? Elk. Elk. elk yeah. Right there. They had all kinds of, so they had um, Colorado lamb, they had elk, they had short ribs, they had steak, they had salmon. Get some of the pasta, get some of the elk, get some of this, I'm assuming, butter on top. Perfect. It's like the grown-up version of spaghetti and meatballs. It's so good. The elk is kind of like a mix between beef and pork. It's really rich and savory. It's got these big chunks of tomatoes and other veggies in here, carrots and onions. And then the pasta it looks like it's all homemade and hand cut. Very fresh tasting. Oh my gosh, it's so good. That dinner was freaking amazing, y'all. We had to run by the grocery store. They had free Jolly Ranchers, so don't mind the big bulge in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> it's so delicious. I think we are staying at the most picturesque RV park in this whole area. Yeah, maybe that we've ever stayed at. Maybe. 
we're gonna have to show you the views in the morning. For now, we're gonna turn in and stop being outside because y'all, we are so cold. Yeah, All day it gets frigid cold. out here, man. All right, see you tomorrow. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Do it again. This one? No, the other thing. Oh, this one. Yeah. So what do you guys think about our view, huh? Not bad at all. Not too bad. <laughs> so we got the front door positioned right there. So this is our view that we wake up to. I love all the rugged peaks off in the distance. Oh man. Yeah, the landscape here just has so much freaking character. There's just farm land as far as the eye can see, but then eventually the mountains start like rising up from the ground and then the snow cap peaks way off in the distance. It's very cool. These are by far my favorite types of mountains. The ones that are just like big and raw and snow capped. Mm, they just look so rugged, like Earth was like, yeah, I'm feeling myself. <laughs> but yeah, this is definitely one of the top uh, RV spots we've stayed at, mainly just because of this view. I mean, you can't beat that. Ure is actually right over there where that little mountain is, right between that valley. <laughs> yeah, and if you come here, I, a lot of you recommended Orvis, the hot spring. We actually have been going there, but there are no cameras allowed because it's clothing optional. <laughs> yeah, so we figured uh, we'll just uh, keep that to ourselves. <laughs> yeah, but if you do come here, Check out the Orvis Hot Spring. It is a delight. But that's gonna do it for our time here in Ure. At the other end of town, there is a highway that's considered, I think we mentioned it, it's considered one of the most dangerous, if not the most dangerous in Colorado. We're gonna brave that in our next video and head down to Durango, I think. See more of Colorado. Oh yeah, I'm so excited for the views to come and to take y'all with us. Goodbye adventures. We'll see you on the road.